Good morning, my cellmates. I am, <coughs> excuse me, and my croaky voice. Um, I'm, I've just been trying to uh, perfect a technique or work on a technique, and I usually do try to video when I'm working on something, so to let you see, let you guys see <coughs> my mistakes along with the failures, because some people might see me doing something and then suggest to me well that would have worked if you maybe tried this or tried that and then I just work it out whether I want to try this or try that so what I've done now I've done several pours before probably can't lay my hands on them uh, right now which oh, here we go There's one of them I did I think my friend Jilly has taken the other one um this was with milk paint that I did, oh, maybe, I don't know, six, eight months ago. Um, I did a, I think it was a ring pour. I have got the video there on my YouTube channel, so I will try and include the link to this. It was just a more supple, um, softer look, and it was with milk paints that I did this. Probably, I can't exactly remember if I did it. I mean, it would obviously say in the video. Um, but because I do so many, I can't remember what I put in each and every one unless I go back to the video diary, basically. But I'm going to try a little thing with milk paints. Um, that when I did my pour, I did a, a little experiment a few weeks ago where I tried to create false false cells. And this one, there is the video on there. I did this with injecting paint in a syringe onto the surface. So obviously, you know, saying that you, if you haven't got cells, you can create your own. They're, um, yeah, basically false cells. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put a bed. I'll explain to you as I go along. That is probably the very best thing I could do, isn't it? Um, so I'm going to put a base down. And normally I probably like the other ones I've put either dark navy blue or black base because I'm just using the two colors the, um, to give this demonstration to see and I'm only doing it on this small canvas because it's very very time-consuming and when I posted those two videos of my milk paint I did get a message off the gorgeous Kathleen Osmore from Cos Creations who's just recently started her own video channel um, she does some beautiful oh she does some beautiful work there's no denying it and she did send me a little message after I'd posted that video of the false cells and said try um, using the milk paint as I'd used on those but instead of through a syringe just put in droplets with your stir a stick so I have uh, done one earlier where I tried her technique which she suggested put in the droplets and then look how beautiful the cells came out obviously this was just plain with swiping and things but I, I sort of thought oh well there you go she that's great I did something she's seen a way that I could improve what I was doing and I'm all for that um, definitely there to empower other women and work with them and not against them. So I'm going to go with Kathleen's suggestion of putting the milk paint droplets in my base coat. I'm not sure what Kathleen uses for a base coat, what brand or what brand milk paint she uses, but I'm just going with my... Um, Montmartre Studio Acrylics that I've just mixed up the burnt umber and I've mixed it up with my pouring medium of 70% Elmer's glue, 30% water. As normal, my little drop down box will have my recipe of my paint pouring medium there. And what I've used, I'll get the product that I've used. I've got, got one side, I've got, this is my lovely little split cup. Um, one side I've got Folk Art milk paint, which I was using that last year, but apparently they're, they're not producing that anymore. And the other side is a milk paint called Farmhouse White, which is 
right, I'll just show you. Now this, you can get so much paint out of this. So this is comes in a packet milk paint. This is farmhouse white. Now my, it's not mine, but the online supplier that I use for my uh, all my acrylic um, materials sells this milk paint and I think they sell it for furniture. So it comes in a powder and all you do is you can mix yourself, which I've mixed. I just mixed, I haven't watched the video. There is a video she said I can watch too. But I just went by the pack and it said just mix with water. So I just mix with water. So I've put the powder in and I've mixed with water and I believe I could probably do it a bit thicker. So I think that it would work better mixing it to a, a, like a creamy consistency. And then what I did is I added a bit of um, Floetrol to it. And so that's farmhouse white. So that's like a creamy white. And the other side is white, which was the original milk paint from Folk Art. You can still get it in places, but apparently I'm told it's not being made anymore by those people. Um, but yeah, the online supplier in the drop down box will have the milk paint. So that would go so far because it's a whole packet of 230 grams of powder. You could make up so much paint with that. So I'm going to further explore with that, but um, this is what I'm doing at present time with it. So get down and get busy, Jilly. Okay, so there's my nice chocolatey milkshake on there. I mean, obviously you can use any color as your base. And as again, it's an experiment. So I'm just playing with this. And obviously if anybody else has any bright ideas, then go with it but you can create this into all sorts of gorgeousness I believe and Kathleen certainly does so um, you want to hop over to Kathleen's channel I think she's only got uh, one video up at present because um, she only just started YouTube which she's doing very well and you know girl power I all for helping anybody if I can um, but as I say I like to build people up and not drag them down as what's been happening of late but I'm not going to go there I'm going to be full of happiness and joy and do my own thing can't be involved in everybody's drama I'm keeping my drama on the canvas actually that's what I'm doing that's what my husband said keep the drama on the canvas Jill keep the drama on the canvas so that's what I'm doing so I'm not worrying about the sides at this point in time. Um, and probably this could do with being a bit thinner, I believe. But I'm going to... I'll start with it thicker. And if it doesn't turn out this time, then again, I will give it a go on another um, canvas or scrape that one off. So I'm going to go with the folk art. Now this is how... Kathleen advised me to produce those false cells that I told you it's just droplets of on your stirrer stick so I'm just trying to create I think you don't go too close because it stretches and that's what sort of creates the appearance of leaving the uh, negative space color as you're defining oh dear your defining line in the in between your cell your pretend cells your fake cells so whereas before I've done the video on this I used a syringe which you, you know worked good but I probably could do with um, smaller head on the syringe so it didn't come out so much at a time so just go with this it is very time consuming, but as a few people in my life are into at the moment, the um, diamond art, which is like, I think, how have they got the patience sitting and putting these tiny little diamantes into a, it's like a paint by numbers with like little diamantes. And there's a few, like my daughter-in-law loves it and my friend Jill bought over a piece that she did while she was here and it's very time consuming and intricate 
So I'm thinking, oh, if people like doing that, they wouldn't mind doing this. So as you can see, marshmallows on chocolate. Yum. It's um, very time consuming to get a whole piece out to you. Um, but I will just plod on with it. I might do this, then turn the video off. So you haven't got to watch me just do this for hours because I believe it would probably take a fair amount of time if I was filling the whole canvas up, but maybe I don't fill the whole canvas. I just do the corners might look really effective. Um, and I have tried speeding up my video in parts because as you know, I'm technologically challenged and I have no training whatsoever at editing. So it's all fumble, fumble, granny fumble. Um, at trying to do my best. But I did speed one video up that I did for a children's video and of course I was yakking through it because that's what I do and it kind of sped my voice up and I sounded like a chipmunk. Funny for the children because it was good that it was a children's video but I think I realise maybe you just stay silent at the bits that you're going to speed up so you don't get the chipmunky voice in there. But as you can see creating this illusion of something really quite special which Kathleen does. Mm. Kathleen's only recently sort of appeared on the I believe she's been doing art and um, pottery more than anything for a long time um, but she's only recently to me and lots of other people appeared on our um, acrylic art different pages that we've all got and and the american versions and the australian version and so on and so forth so kathleen's a newcomer that's uh, hit the ground running she because she's talented Ooh, it's quite nice isn't it it's actually quite therapeutic to do if i was just sitting here with my music playing which i can't have my music playing because the copyright and I love working out here with music. Believe it or not, even at my age, I love my pink. I've been to two pink concerts with my husband and son and we enjoyed every absolute minute. I hope I'm allowed to say her name and I don't get into any trouble. I don't wanna be in trouble. Oh my God, this is so much fun really yeah if you want to do something therapeutic for yourself i suggest you get busy easy wizzy let's get busy i'm not sure i've got that saying in my head and i'm not actually sure where it comes from is it child show or something somebody would know if you guys could give me some kind feedback constructive criticism i don't want to listen to just keyboard warriors sticking there they have nothing uh, constructive to say just move on don't watch my channel I won't miss you and neither will anyone else um, but if you've got constructive criticism I'm more than happy to listen because lots of people have suggested like Kathleen messaged me and suggested this after she seen my struggling along with the the um, syringe trying to do my false cells oh i like that kathleen thank you thank you thank you so i mean lots of artists along my art journey have inspired me i think the very first video i ever watched of acrylic um, pouring art was Karen Goodrich so thank you Karen for being my instigator and developer of um, the acrylic I mean I did painting I just love to dabble in acrylic art and my son's a brilliant um, spray paint artist so we have got a little bit of arty background there but um, 
I just thought, oh yeah, that's that's different, the acrylic art. So I wanted to give it a go. So I think the first videos were Karen Goodrich, uh, Gina De Luca. There was an English lady because I thought, oh, that's different. I hadn't heard an English lady's voice. And do you, for the life of me, cannot think what her name was and cannot find her channel now? She's an English lady with short blonde hair. Used to show her behind the camera. Don't know her name. Um, I loved uh, Rick Cheadle, Melly D, all brilliant. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, cannot um, shift this cough that I've had for more than seven weeks now. A bit yucky. Um, yeah, so they were people that really inspired me throughout my journey. So shout out to them. Thank you. They've got very successful art careers and channels. And 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 of course my Julie Cuts. How can I forget my Julie? She's only down the road from me, literally. So of course Julie Cuts. In fact Julie it was Julie's um swipes that you know got like as you know I love my swipes and it was Julie that uh, gave me lesson in swipes when I went to her place workshop so I have Julie to thank and she's local to me so and Julie has done exceptionally well unbelievably well so shout out to Julie so they're all people that inspired me and I'm happy to give anybody a shout out now do I leave that negative space because I always go the one step too far don't I I'll do a little bit of a pointy bit in it. But that's chocolate and marshmallows. I think somebody suggested it this morning when I put up that I was testing this technique. So there you go. I'm sorry I don't remember your name. Oh, I've got carried away here. This I've done completely with the folk art. Shall I just change direction and try it with this milk paint from which is folk art, no it isn't, who is it? Uh, Miss Mustard Seeds and it's sold on the uh, link that I'll give you underneath. So I think this is a little wee bit runny, actually I probably should have done it a little bit thicker but I'll try it I just hope I don't ruin what I've done. Oh no, that's perfect actually. No. So this, this is the milk paint that you can order from the online supplier and make up your own which can, will make absolute tons because that milk paint in that little container that I bought by Folk Art I think was about 10 oh, oh sorry I've blobbed it it would need to be made up a little bit thicker because this is a little bit runny as you can see yabbling on and what I can see is happening is something very interesting and it's fracturing so it's causing fractures around which is interesting because it still looks good but that's the milk paint powder so if you go on their site you'll see the link to it and I'm sure like this is trial and error oh I've gone and blobbed it I don't want to go too far with that but that just adds a completely different look to it. How cool is that? Too cool for school. OMG. Crazy woman. I've got my son watching this and then he tells me off at the silly things I say. Well, he doesn't tell me off. He just says, well, you should say this or you could say that. But anyway, oh, look at that. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. You guys, give it a go. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Yeah, so that was a small canvas, but obviously you'd take a long time doing a big canvas, but wouldn't it be so worth it? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't already, please do so. Press the notification. Um, it's helping me for free. These videos are for free. I'm not asking anybody for donations or... Um, payment of any description this is completely free my time and my efforts in doing these experiments for you all um, and I just want to thank you for the lovely comments I get from you all till next time guys 
happy times happy painting journey love and peace to you all